There were six important events or acts that actually led up to the American Revolution. In each event, there was a cause and effect, and there was actually a response from England did one thing and the colonies did another. England did one thing, the colonies did another. So the first thing that happened was the end of the French and Indian War. And the English defended um, the colonies from the French and the Indians. It was the actual Seven Years' War in Europe, but it was our, we called it the French and Indian War. And the English protected the colonists and actually fought for us. And we had won the war, but it led to a lot of the treasury in England was depleted and um, there was a lot of problems in England. So they looked to the colonies as a source of revenue and a source of income and said, okay, we protected you. We did this for you. Now we need something back. So the first restriction on the colonists was the proclamation of 1763, which basically took the um, Appalachian Mountains in the West and said, you can't go past this line because they couldn't keep basically the colonists safe. They couldn't keep the colonists uh, safe from the Indians. So it made sense to say, here's where we're going to protect you, but you can't go farther west. So the colonists really didn't like that regulation. And then in order to basically collect taxes, um, the, the England Parliament did the Sugar Act. And it was a half duty on molasses, and it was there to stop smuggling. That was April 5th, 1764. Uh, the colonists complained about that, and eventually the Sugar Act was repeal repealed. And then the Stamp Act, which was a worse tax, it was you had to buy st special stamped paper, and everything would have a stamp on it, or buy this paper, and that was March 22nd, 1765. And this, it, this act was very expensive, and uh, the colonists complained about that, and then eventually that was repealed. And then there were the Townsend Acts, and this was the Exchequer of England who basically came up with taxes on imports. And the imports were in glass and paint and oil. Also, troops were put in place in the ports, and this was in 17, 1767 in the beginning of the year. And then Boston Massacre was where five colonists were killed March 5, 1770. And this is basically where... British troops were in Boston and they were being mocked by the colonists and they were throwing things at them and spitting at them. And nobody knows who the first shot was, fired the first shot, whether it was a colonist or a British troop. But five colonists were killed and that set off a firestorm of anger and upset. And then there was the Tea Act. This gave Britain tea privileges. The East India Bay Company had a monopoly on tea, shut out all the colonial merchants, and this was passed May 10, 1773. So in response to the Tea Act um, in the closing or the closing of merchants' trade, the um, colonists went in disguised as Native Americans, dumped 18,000 pounds of tea into the Boston Harbor. This was December 1773. And news of that um, event happened in January 1774, and the British Parliament was very upset with that, and finally in April they were having debates, and finally in June they decided to close the Boston Harbor. There was a series of about four acts that were separate in 1774. The colonists were forced to house soldiers, the Boston Harbor was shut, and there was martial law in Boston. And then in number nine, the Lexington and Concord Basically, that was the first skirmish and start of the uh, Revolutionary War, the shot that heard around the world. British troops were marching on Lexington and Concord to seize, seize weapons at an arsenal. And uh, Boston militiamen fired on the troops, and basically this was the first battle of the Revolutionary War and many more to come. So these are, you can pick any six events, you can pick any of these to decide which is important, what you felt was the most important to put for your paper, for your slide, what you need. So use any of them, you can use all of them, it's up to you. But uh, definitely these are all very important and they're in order. And thanks a lot, and if you have any questions, ask in class.